greetings and welcome subscribe the channel thermal engineering for video sessions this is video session on temperature distribution in heat exchanger in this session you will be able to explain temperature distribution in heat exchanger in heat exchanger the exchange of heat energy takes place between the two fluids the fluid which gives its energy to the other fluid is known as hot fluid and the fluid which receives heat energy is known as cold fluid neglecting the energy losses from the heat exchanger to the atmosphere we can have energy given by the hot fluid is equal to energy received by cold fluid means change in internal energy of hot fluid is equal to change in internal energy of cold fluid mathematically mcp delta t for hot fluid is equal to mcp delta t for cold fluid here the temperatures of hot fluid and cold fluids are mentioned thi is the inlet temperature of hot fluid tho is outlet temperature of hot fluid tci is inlet temperature of cold fluid and tco is outlet temperature of cold fluid so further mathematically formula can be written as mcp means mass and specific heat product for the hot fluid into temperature difference for hot fluid means thi minus tho is equal to mcp for cold fluid into temperature difference for cold fluid means tco minus tci let us see cases of heat exchanger and temperature distribution first case is a parallel flow heat exchanger in this diagram we see hot fluid and cold fluids are passing through this heat exchanger they are in direct contact so the hot and cold fluids enter at the one end flow in same direction and leaves at the other end so here if you see temperature distribution hot fluid is entering at a temperature thi and cold fluid is entering at a temperature tci however the both fluids are moving in forward direction heat from the hot fluid is transferred to cold fluid thus temperature of hot fluid is getting reduced while temperature of cold fluid is getting increased thus at the exit hot fluid temperature tho is less than inlet temperature and uh, similarly at the outlet cold fluid temperature tco is uh, greater than inlet temperature tci in case of co counter flow heat exchanger here if you see hot fluid is passing in this direction and cold fluid is passing in this direction so the hot and cold fluids enter at opposite ends flow in opposite directions and leave at opposite ends if you see temperature distribution here the hot fluid line this is a hot fluid line and this is a cold fluid line hot fluid line direction is forward and cold fluid direction is backward here if you see the highest temperature is at inlet of hot fluid and uh, lowest temperature is of cold fluid at inlet as the both fluids are moving in forward direction temperature of hot fluid is getting reduced 
and the temperature of cold fluid is getting increased so here tho means exit temperature of hot fluid is a smaller than inlet temperature because it gives heat to this cold line and by absorbing heat this cold line temperature tci and this tco temperature at the outlet which is more or greater than the inlet temperature so in case of counter flow heat exchanger if you see here appropriately temperature difference is remaining somewhat uh, same throughout because of counter flow arrangement next case is condenser flow this is a application of central air conditioning chiller in that there are two parts one, one is a condenser section another is evaporator section so here if you take here condenser section so if you see here this condenser section we use to condense it the refrigerant means to reject heat from the refrigerant now for this heat rejection we use uh, water so here the hot refrigerant gas is condensed at constant temperature and the cooling water which is circulated that is getting warm by receiving heat from the refrigerant in this diagram temperature distribution if you see the hot refrigerant gives heat to water and get condensed at constant temperature now this is a phase change process as the refrigerant property is a, its phase is only changed because it is a two phase substance so gas to liquid phase is changing at a constant temperature means th1 is equal to th2 by absorbing heat from this uh, hot refrigerant line the water which is being circulated that water is getting warm so temperature of this cooling water is increasing from tc1 to tc2 this is what happening in the condenser now in the evaporator section here if you see the cold liquid refrigerant when is passing inside the shell and tube heat exchanger then as its boiling point is very low and it is very cold refrigerant it absorbs heat from this uh, water line and uh, getting evaporated so this is a refrigerant which is getting evaporated and it is coming out so cold liquid refrigerant is getting evaporated at constant temperature and the water is uh, getting cooled by giving heat to the refrigerant so here we get chilled water which is used for central air conditioning system let us see temperature distribution diagram here the cold refrigerant its temperature is very low and its two phase substance that's why here the cold refrigerant absorbs heat from the water and gets evaporated at constant temperature means tc1 is equal to tc2 and uh, temperature of the water is uh, getting reduced from th1 to th2 because heat content from the water is absorbed by the cold refrigerant so that's why temperature of water is getting reduced so in this way at the end of this session you can explain about temperature distribution in heat exchanger for parallel flow heat arrangement counter flow heat exchanger arrangement and evaporator and condenser flow
so subscribe the channel thermal engineering for further video sessions thank you